Dear Aunt Lucy, this week I learned about another celebration, where children get to dress up and have fun. Actually, it's not just the children having fun. Boom! Mr. Brown, perhaps you could help me make the toast. I'll make you jump this year, Mrs. Bird. You say that every Halloween, but unfortunately for you, I'm like a bird with no wings. Unswappable. Right, let's get decorating. Oh, look at all of this horrid stuff. What's going on? It's Halloween. Halloween. Halloween is a very special and spooky day, Palinson. It must be a special day. This is Bird is putting cobwebs up. But she knew we'll try to take them down. It's a very old tradition, Paddington, when people used to think that wicked beasties walk the earth. So they made up traditions to scare them away. I'm not sure that sounds very fun. Oh, that it is. I can show you. First, we decorated the house. That doesn't seem very scary. Ah! Sorry! How does that look? Ah! A little higher, dear. Please try and keep these decorations to a minimum. Don't be such a misery. It's Halloween, Mrs. Carter. So I make sure you only decorate your house. I don't want skeletons up scaring my windows. Why don't you join us, Mrs. Carter? We're having all sorts of fun. No, thank you very much. Do you really not like Halloween, Mrs. Carter? I hate it. I shall lock my door, turn my lights off, and sit quietly in the house. Sorry, business. It's over. Ah! Sorry. And so, Aunt Lucy, Rosie and Judy kindly showed me some more Halloween traditions. Vinamba Paddington, you have to cut the scabious face to Patty. Like this. Ah! Finish! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> there was, however, one tradition, Aunt Lucy, that I just wasn't sure about. Tell me again, why am I just a person? Trick or treating! We all dress up in scary costumes, knock on people's doors, and shout trick, trick or, or treat. treat! And if they don't give you a treat, you play a trick. Oh dear. What's wrong, Pellington? I thought you liked treats. I love treats. I know it's a tradition, but is it just playing tricks on someone sounds a little mean? Is it a little mean? Well, I suppose it's. Mm. Would you mind if I did a cheat or cheat? How would that work? Well, if someone was good enough to give me a cheat, I, I'd give them a cheat too. And even if they didn't, they'd still get one from me. How does that sound? Can we all still be dressed up? Of course. Okay, I'll give it a try. Just to make sure we do still get treats, right? Yes. Right, or we all set to go out trick or cheating. Ooh, treat or cheating. It does sound much nicer. Okay, let's go. Does everyone have everything? Yes, ma'am. We've got a big bag of treats with you, Mrs. Brown. Let me get marmalade sandwiches. No, not at all. Some of them are marmalade rolls. <laughs> A visit from the bronze. But what do I see? A bloody ballerina, a pigenta, and a wizard. And a witch. Oh, sorry, a witch. She got you, Mr. Bumba. Haha, <laughs> of course. Witch for us. And he's no cheat for you, Mr. Bumba. How generous. He must have more teeth. And he's no cheat for you. Mrs. Booba, how generous. We must have more treats. I 
a hero. Thank you. you. We'll be here all night. Lovely to see you, Mrs. Gruber, and happy Halloween. Oh goodness me, I just can't get these nuts out. Are you having trouble there, Mr. Brown? Just trying to get into this tin of nuts, Mrs. Bird. Give them here. I'm afraid you have been tricked. There's no nuts in this tin at all. Next time, Mrs. Bird. Next time. A treat. Happy Noche de Brujas. Oh dear. What is it, cariño? We aren't out celebrating Noche de Brujas. We are celebrating Halloween. <laughs> so are we, Paddington? That's how we call it in Colombia. Noche de Brujas. We are going to go cheating. Do you do that back in Colombia too? Well, we do something similar and we have a great little rhyme. Tricky, tricky Halloween. Quiero dulces para mí. Y si no me da, se le crece la nariz. What does it mean? It means tricky, tricky Halloween. I want candy. And if you don't have any candy, your nose will grow. I didn't bring any candy. I got marmalade sandwiches. Oh, marmalade sandwiches will do just fine. Your nose is safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you knock on the door, I just want to remind everyone that in the past, May Sports has been a little bit jumpy on Halloween. This is Pam, the last thing we want to do is scare her. Ah! Ah! Oh, this is supposed to be a relaxing face, Pam. Welcome back, Trio Treaters. Did you have a good night? For the world's first treat or treat session, I'd say it was brilliant. Look, Mrs. Curry's door is open. She did say she was going to lock it. I do hope everything's all right. We'd go in and find her just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Mrs. Curry, Mrs. Curry, are you here? Children. You'll go check the living room. We'll go upstairs. Mrs. Bird, you'll check the kitchen. <laughs> what are you laughing? No, nothing, nothing. Mrs. Curry, are you? <laughs> Mrs. Curry, Mrs. Curry. Mr. Brown? Yes, mm -hmm. it was. No like Halloween? I love it. I get to dress up in scary clothes and shout at the neighbor who children and no one tells me up. Best night of the year. Here kids, treats all around. I hope you like those sausages. Happy Halloween, everyone! Happy Halloween! We all decided it was much more fun to give treats rather than tricks. 
Apart from Mrs. Curry, who really liked the trick he and Mr. Brown played on Mrs. Bird, they were just like children, which is right for Halloween. The tricks are over for another year. Love from Paddington. Whoa! You have to do better than that, Mr. Brown.